honestly, for being the uh, headquarters of Hamas, the fact that they didn't find any Hamas agents in the hospital or, like, massive statues of weapons and stuff is really weird. How can it be a command center and there is nobody from Hamas at the hospital? And thank you for joining us on this Wednesday night. We begin tonight with the war between Israel and Hamas escalating around the besieged Al-Shifa Hospital in Gaza City. Israeli troops stormed the hospital in what it calls targeted raids in a search for Hamas militants. Israel Defense Forces interrogated people inside but say they have not found any members of Hamas and found no evidence of hostages being held there. The IDF says they did find evidence of a Hamas command center and there were weapons inside the building. Israeli Prime Minister Net Okay, again, they found no Hamas militants at the hospital, no hostages, which, if the Israeli government just listened to uh, that would have told them all they needed to know. And where are these tunnels at? Why didn't the IDF show these tunnels underneath the hospital? Netanyahu today promising to bring the hostages home and said there is no shelter or refuge for the Hamas murderers. And for the first time since the beginning of the war, fuel trucks were allowed to enter Gaza today. Israel is blocking the 6,000 gallons from reaching hospitals, saying the fuel can only be used by U.N. groups that are delivering aid. CBS's Deborah Pato will start us off tonight from East Jerusalem. Good evening, Deborah. Good evening. National Security Council's John Kirby said today that the U.S. did not give the green light to Israel's raid on Al-Shifa Hospital, which began with fiery clashes outside the complex, which the military said killed four Hamas fighters. The target, Al-Shifa. The decision to send troops into the hospital, marking an escalation in Israel's offensive in Gaza. When Israeli soldiers finally entered, not a single shot was fired. There is a, an AK-47. But they say they found proof that Hamas was operating there, showing this as evidence. These weapons have absolutely no business being inside a hospital. What they did not show were any Hamas fighters. And they made no mention of the tunnels they've repeatedly said double up as the group's command center underneath the complex. Also you would think, since they're always talking about all of these tunnels underneath all of these buildings hiding Hamas militants, that they would show the tunnels so that they can prove that what they've been saying is correct. Why would they not want to show like the tunnels, or at least the entrance to a tunnel or something. Also inside the besieged hospital, civilians seeking refuge and critically ill patients, their presence fueling international calls for a ceasefire. A place of healing turned into a battle zone. And the continuous shooting that we have now. Uh, but again, it's totally scary situation. Since yesterday, medical staff have moved patients to safer areas through dust and smoke-filled corridors. Here, you see a doctor manually trying to give this little girl oxygen. The IDF says they dropped off desperately needed medical supplies before the raid. Far from Al-Shifa, another battle is being fought. Worn out and angrier by the day, the families of some of the more than 200 people taken hostage by Hamas demanding their government does more to bring their loved ones home. We want answers and action, Netanyahu Sheli Shemtov said. We have no strength anymore. What more do you want the IDF and the Israeli military to do? They're, they are getting the hostages released as well as killing a bunch of, you know, innocent people. Do you want them to, like, increase the amount of airstrikes against Palestinian innocents or something? And many of these families are worried their government is prioritizing its military campaign over rescuing their loved ones. And Nora, so far... There has been no breakthrough.